All right, there is a Golf Digest article that just came out. And it's it's the do's and don'ts of playing golf at a private country club. <laughs> and I've gotten a lot of messages sent my direction in response to that article because of all the private country club video reviews I've done over the last year. And it's really been on my main channel, one of the most popular series of videos is that inside these private country clubs, I've gotten myself into trouble more than on one occasion at these clubs. So, and I've, I've had to pull some down and I'm sure that will happen again. Uh, people ask, do I get permission? And the answer is no, I do not. Uh, uh, I try to, I've tried to get permission in the past from different places and I've been denied. So uh, then there's just so many hurdles and barriers and red tape to go through that it's just not worth it. It's better to just go do the video and put it out there and hopefully nobody, nobody gets in trouble. And for the most part, if, if I'm invited out by a member, I let them know, obviously. And they're like, I'm cool with that. And, and I said, okay, they might kick you out of here. <laughs> and they say, well, okay, we'll deal with that <laughs> when the time is, if that happens. And luckily nobody's been kicked out. But so the do's and don'ts of playing at a private country club and comment below, let me know kind of your do and don't things. Name like one thing you should never do um, when you go to one of these private <clears throat> elite or whatever you want to call it, country clubs. But some of the things they talk about are, um, one is like, okay, where do you change your shoes? That's, that's always a, a good thing. You can change it in the parking lot. Some clubs say, don't do that. And I typically don't unless if I'm a member at a club, I will change my shoes in the parking lot. And most will, but if I'm a guest, I won't do that. And uh, so I would use the locker room. And the other thing is like, okay, what about guest fees? You know, who's paying guest fees? Look, when I invite somebody to a club, if I'm inviting you as my guest, then I'm gonna take care of your green fees. That's kind of how it works. But many times people are like, hey, what do I owe you or whatever? And you can offer to pay. So th that's kind of how that, that works. So you can pay or not. And then caddy, what do you do? Do you tip the caddy? If you have a caddy, yeah, you would tip a caddy. Everybody always asks, how much should I tip the caddy? Here's what I do. Like I went to uh, East Lake, they have cat. That's a caddy club. There's a uh, Hawks Ridge. I played there as a caddy club. Um, Pebble is not a caddy club, but I did get a caddy at Pebble. And uh, there were some others to uh, forget, but when I, uh, uh, Sherwood, that was a uh, one where it's not a caddy club, but they do have caddies. You can, you can get a caddy there. What happens is, okay. When you go to one of these clubs, let's say there's an event like a tournament or something that you're playing in, or you're invited either way. Some pe people say, we always ask like, Hey, what's the cat? How much should we tip the caddy? Blah, blah, blah. And they're like, Oh, it's usually like $40 a player. I never tip my caddy $40 a player. You know, I'm in a group and people say, oh, they said like 40 bucks a player. Let's say you're in a tournament, right? They're like, oh, they said the caddy fee was included, but they recommend like $40 a player. So we're like, okay. And I'll give a hundred bucks. I'm going to give my caddy a hundred dollars at least. That's what I'm giving him. And then I typically don't tell the people I'm with what I gave the caddy. They're like, oh, oh, oh it's a, they recommend $40 a player. I'm like, okay, cool. And I said, yeah, that, yeah, that's what, yeah. I said, just, yeah, give whatever you feel is, is right. I just typically don't do the $40. And I'll do, I'll do, if I'm in an event, I'll do a hundred bucks. Or if I get a caddy, it's typically a hundred dollars. So that's kind of where I go with it. But again, always, you can always ask like, hey, what do you recommend? Uh, what's the average caddy tip? That's okay to ask, all right? Dress code, private clubs, standard golf, collared shirt, Bermuda length shorts, not too short. If it's too short, they don't like it. If your shirt is untucked, they don't like it. Hat on backwards, 
no bueno hat in the clubhouse. I've done that. Don't do that. All right. Just take it off. That's hat off indoors, outdoors hat on. Use the, can you get there early before your guests was one of the things hundred percent. Like I always said in my video that came out the other day, I said, I don't get here two hours early to take a shower. I get here three hours early. I get, or I get, if I'm playing at a really nice high end private club, I get there early, early. I'm in there. Um, I don't take a shower at home. I take a shower there as you know, right? So that's where I, I'll shower jacuzzi, sauna, steam room, shower again, whatever, like whatever order you want to do. shave. I'll use it all. Uh, if there's a jacuzzi, I'm in that dang jacuzzi. I love a jacuzzi, especially before I go off, just loosens up my body, relax, get in it, relax, enjoy the place. You can be there early without your member there. Say, Hey, I'm a guest of so-and-so fantastic. They take care of you. They're not going to kick you out. Go do your thing. Get ready. Get dressed in the locker room. Many times they'll give you a guest locker. That's great. Put your shoes in there. Put your stuff change, put your stuff in there. No one's going to steal it. You're good to go. I'll go chip putt. I'll be at the range. My guest will, or my, the member will show up. They'll find you. That's fine. So don't worry about that. And, um, you're good to go in terms of, uh, like food and drinks. Typically they'll take a credit card so you can buy food and drinks for yourself. A lot of times your member will, uh, take care of you. And yes, you can't buy stuff in the pro shop. Everybody has like credit cards. You can, you can use people think you, you can't, you got to put it on your, your member number. You don't need to do that. But typically that's how it works inside. Let's say the private clubs. Yeah. And, uh, you know, sometimes I've been known to, if, if there are private clubs that I'm not a member of, but sometimes, you know, I'm in town and I play golf one place and there's a private club over here that I know I can go use their locker room and facilities. <laughs> sometimes I go over there cause they have a nice jacuzzi. So I just kind of, Hey, you know, I'm here, you know, and, uh, sometimes they let you in and that's fantastic too. I'm not going to say where or when, but I've been known on occasion to do that. Don't take advantage of it, but, uh, that's always good. But private clubs are a great, a great way to go. And I highly recommend if you have a family with kids, do the math here. Think about this. If you have kids, I have three kids who played golf growing up. All right. So if they're going to practice three days a week, I'm going to get them each a bucket of balls at $10 a bucket. That's $30, um, a day, three days a week. That's 90 bucks just to hit balls only That's $90 a week. And they're going to play once a week. And so green fees for them, even if it's $20, that's another $60, you know, we're at 150 bucks a week. So, okay. I'm at $600 a month right there for my kids just to practice golf. What are my monthly dues at a private club? 800. Oh, and then I get to play and then we could play and practice every day. Oh, that's a much better deal. And you can always work out like initiation fee. And sometimes a club will waive that. If you commit to two years, there's all kinds of deals. That's why it's always hard. And I do get in trouble when I list the price on my private membership, uh, videos, because the price always changes higher, lower, whatever. They hate that because it is something that is not set in stone. There's, you can always negotiate is what I'm saying based on your situation and your scenario. So that's what it is, but really private clubs are a great way to go. Uh, check out the link in the video description below for club corp. They have the reason I mentioned them is one, they're great. They're called invited clubs. Now uh, they they've rebrand and changed their name, but they have clubs all over the country. So that's fantastic. And if you have a certain membership level, you can use them all really, or most of them. And so you can bounce around. And if you're in different parts, if you, if you travel a lot, it's a great, great way to go. So check them out. Link in the video description below. Let me know also the things you make sure you never do, never do at private country clubs. Thanks for listening. Go check out that article too. It's all right, but now, you know, see you soon.